Hello everyone, appleandapps.com with you. This is our latest now playing on Apple TV. We're checking out Does Not Commute. Comes from Mediocre Games, the makers of Smash Hit, Granny Smith, and Sprinkle Islands. Does Not Commute came out on iOS earlier this year. Now it's made its way to the Apple TV. If you're unfamiliar with the game, it combines like a driving style game with strategy as you have to drive a certain number of cars through the environment from point A to point B. Each one has a different route they can take. And the thing is, the catch is that each time you drive, it overlaps on each of your previous drives. So as you can see, the other cars that I've already driven are going along as I'm driving this new car, and they're all going to stack up. So when you get to the later stages, you have a dozen different cars driving around all that you have driven. So the worse you drive, or the better you drive, is going to impact how challenging those later cars are to drive to their destination. And then you have to all do it in a certain time limit, and you can gain time, time bonuses, and if you make mistakes, you can rewind, but that costs a second, and all that time things is going to come back to haunt you later on. And if that wasn't, I mean, the gameplay is pretty entertaining, enjoyable, great physics, action, all that kind of good stuff. There's also a storyline, so each car has a unique driver, and those drivers have a story to tell. And as you go through the different environments, the story of the characters is going to continue to evolve and interact with one another. And so Does Not Commute TV is a separate app from the iOS version. It's $2.99, it's for the Apple TV. The iOS version is free, but there's a $2.99 in-app purchase to unlock the checkpoints where each environment is a new checkpoint. So once you complete the 15 cars that are on the screen right now, you're going to transfer over to a beach scene. And if you lose on that point on iOS, you have to go back to the very beginning. But with the in-app purchase on iOS, or the full-priced Apple TV version, you can restart on that beach scene with the time left off when you completed this scene right here. And so that's essentially does not commute TV. The game is better on the iPad than it is on the iPhone, and consequently it's better on the Apple TV than it is on the iPad, just because that kind of top-down bird's-eye perspective really shines when you have that full HD TV to look at overview of all the different cars moving around. To control the game with the Apple TV remote, you tap on either the left or right side of the touch panel to drive in that direction and then you can press the play pause button to rewind a second and go back and replay a car run. So there's also some abilities so you can get turbo traction controller armor that you can unlock as you go. And so that's Does Not Commute TV. It's $2.99 for the Apple TV. We hope you enjoyed our Apple and Apps now playing on Apple TV video and we'll talk to you next time.